Well, now to the breaking news. Dock workers at ports from Texas to Maine are now on strike. The first time that this has happened in nearly 50 years. All right, so the sticking points are the union looking for higher pay. Also, they want a ban on automation when it comes to loading and unloading the ships. They also want triple retirement contributions too. Now, this is a look at workers on the picket line over at the port of Houston's Bayport Terminal in Seabrook just after midnight when the strike went into effect. Now, all container operators are suspended and the gates are now closed. The strike is affecting 36 ports for all the way from Maine down to Florida and to here in the Gulf right here in Houston. About 45,000 dock workers of the International Longshoremen's Association, the union, uh, say they want a 77% raise over the next six years. Uh, the current offer on the table is 50% hike. This is the first strike since 1977. Now, supply chain experts say it will have an almost immediate impact on perishable imports like fruits and vegetables and could make things like imported beers, cheeses and wine harder to find. Electronics and car parts will also be impacted. Most retailers have stocked up for the holiday season, but if the work stoppage goes on for more than a few weeks, it could cause problems for the delivery of everything from toys to artificial Christmas trees. And if you're planning on getting something shipped from overseas, you might want to give it extra time. I think um, domestic mail service probably isn't going to be impacted, but if you're ordering something online and it hasn't been shipped from China or Europe or India, um, the chances of it being delayed are, are quite high. Well, the strike is estimated to have up to a $5 billion per day impact on the economy. There was some progress reported on negotiations Monday, but it's still unclear how long this strike could last.